Hello everyone, my name is Ronak and you are watching Vector Art. So in today's video, we will take a look on how to create this beautiful looking dashboard using Visual Studio Blend and we will make use of uh, UI toolkits like Handy Controls and uh, we will use Live Charts to create this beautiful looking chart on the dashboard. So without any further ado, let's get started. And for those who haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel, it means a lot. Moving ahead, let's start first by creating a new project. Let's select WPF application. If you do not find it in the templates, you can select there. Let's give this project a name. Click on next. Let's leave the framework as is and let's click on create. Now let's go to tools, NuGet package manager and uh, manage NuGet packages. Here let's install uh, the handy controls UI toolkit. Select the first link and select your project and click on install. Once this is installed, uh, it will give you a code snippet that you will have to include in your uh, app.xaml file to include the resources uh, in your project. Also, let's copy this namespace on the main window. That's done. Now let's go back to the NuGet package and uh, let's install the live charts uh, library. This will help us in including the charts on our dashboard. So let's install these. Once this is installed, uh, let's go back to our window. Let's just check whether it is installed. Yes, it is installed. Let's close this NuGet package window and go to our main window. So let's make a couple of changes to our main window. Let's start with the width and height in the properties panel. Let's change uh, the allow transparency checkbox and window style to none to remove the borders. Also change the color of the background to black and let's change the resize mode to no resize and the startup location to center. We can also change the uh, screen size here in the core XAML file. Let's change it to 1200 and 900 and this is the desired size that I want. Now let's start designing or uh, put placing our elements on the UI. So let's start first by adding a stack panel on our grid. Change the height and width of our stack panel and uh, change the horizontal alignment to left and uh, width to 1200 which is our size of our window and change the height to 70 and change the orientation to horizontal. So doing so, all the elements that we um, uh, add to our stack panel will be stacked horizontally. So let's add a button and change the width and height, change the uh, horizontal and vertical alignment and change the margin to 20 from the left. Let's remove the content and change the background to the downloaded content or icons that you have. I have downloaded all my icons from icons8.com. You can also do the same. I will leave a link in the description. So next I have added a grid uh, inside our stack panel and I am changing the orientation, horizontal and vertical alignment and adding a margin of 70 to leave a gap between the menu and the grid. Now um, let's in zoom in and uh, start adding content inside the grid. So let me add some content. Let's change the foreground to white. And uh, let's change the font and the font size. So these are some basic properties that you can change on the text box. I will not go in detail, uh, but um, you can see how I change them here. So let me change the text from the properties panel and let's change the text font weight to bold 
so our first grid is ready so i am going to copy it several times and this is the result final result i have also you will also see that i have placed a horizontal line between so that you can uh, achieve by using the line tool now i have added an ellipse inside this uh, stack panel change the fill to the image that i have and i'm setting the margin now i'll copy the grid again and this time i will change the width and change the content so we have our top menu bar and the top panel ready and let's let's do some small minor adjustments and let's run this application and see it in action so we are done with it now let's move on to the main content uh, let me change the uh, height of the line that i drew and now let's start by adding rectangles on our main area and i will do the same for all the uh, other uh, panels that i need so let me speed up the process here I have some uh, code um, added into my notepad so that I need not uh, do these small adjustments and uh, so that uh, the video does not get uh, long. So I have already pasted these uh, panels here and uh, let me paste some more items. So you can see in the, if you go to the extended controls of handy controls, the uh, documentation, you have this nice looking carousel uh, image viewer. So I have copied the content from there and I am going to paste it on my grid. And I have already populated it with the image sources. You can also do it from the uh, properties panel. You can uh, change the individual source for the uh, image icon. I have disabled it for now uh, so that the UI does not lag. I will copy some more items like the text block inside the rectangle. and. Uh, I'll add an image. I will show you how I have done it. Uh, but first, let me configure the first tile and then you can see how I have configured the other uh, cards. So let me paste it. OK, so basically they are nothing but uh, the text blocks inside the rectangle. And uh, since it is a grid, I have uh, placed them using margins. You can always um, use stack panels and uh, other uh, layout panels to achieve this. Now I'm just copying and pasting it on the uh, other uh, cards or the rectangles. I'm adding a line here. And so I'll be adding or maybe mostly copy and pasting most of the items on the screen on other tiles so here i have added a rectangle and i have changed the fill to an image and i am just replacing the image with the images that i have now let's move on to the uh, next title and before that let's change the color of all the other titles uh, tiles that i have on the dashboard so let's copy the text blocks this this dashboard is basically uh, comprised of uh, uh, text blocks and horizontal lines and images and buttons so nothing fancy so uh, let me change the text so let's move to our next text box and before that let's change some of the text properties I'm increasing the size and here I am moving on to the next style uh, which will house uh, the uh, graph so for the graph or the chart, we will, we will go to live charts. I will leave a link in the description. Let's go to basic plots and I will go to the column chart, which I require. So here is the code behind for this and how to implement it. So let's copy the namespaces uh, here and yes, let's copy the namespace and uh, let's next let's copy the series collection or the data context that we have and let's copy the public and private variables 
so the code behind is done so let's copy the xaml so before that let's copy the namespace for live charts so let's copy it paste it and let's copy the live chart control and paste it here now let's uh, position it uh, where we need and that is the rightmost tile so let's move it on the tile ideally everything should be uh, mapped to a stack panel or a grid uh, but here I'm uh, manually positioning it but uh, I would suggest you um, change it um, and to map it into a grid or something so that it snaps to place and even when you increase the size of the grid uh, it will uh, snap into position so now uh, I'm just removing the uh, changing the legend location to top and I will remove the labels title it's up to you how you want to design it but uh, this is just uh, a design idea and also those who are interested uh, in this design you can download it from my github repository i have uh, the link in the description so do check it out and also i will please uh, do check it out so let's run this application and you will see this beautiful looking chart so it is working as expected let's change the titles and now let's move on to our next title so let's copy and paste uh, the content from the previous style and paste it on this one change the content do, let's do some aesthetic changes let's go back to the documentation and here let's look for the progress bar uh, let's do one thing let's take uh, the progress bar that WPF provides and let's do some changes there okay and I will show you the next progress bar that is from the uh, handy controls library so here we have the nice looking circular progress bar which I'll make use of let's copy the code paste it and uh, here we have our progress bar let's change the value and add in the content let's change the text and finally uh, we have our last um, tile to complete before that I'm just changing the font of all the uh, text blocks that I have to a different one uh, just to change the look and feel now I have copied the text block from the top text uh, title tile and uh, I am changing the image and I will add one more text block which will contain this text and finally I will just un, uh, undo the or uncomment the text and here we have our nice looking dashboard ready with this carousel uh, image viewer and graph and these tiles so hope you all like watching this video if you do please please give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe to my channel till then bye bye